I had the most amazing pregnancy. I couldn't be more proud when we got pregnant and it was just like, you're living in a utopia. Sophia came in the summer of 2006. I think we both had that parent intuition that something's not right. She would just cry and cry and I'm like, what's wrong little baby? At Sophia's 12-month appointment, we had been voicing our concerns with our pediatrician for some time now, and she went ahead and referred us out to a neurologist and a, a team of child development specialists, and they told us, hey, we want to do a CAT scan and we're going to do an MRI, and I started to really get that sinking feeling inside. The neurologist, he called us back a few days after the CAT scan and told us that um, there was some slowing in the brain. Go, Sophia, go. Yes. A bevy of exams, testing, and evaluations soon followed. Um, we had so many specialists we were seeing at the time, geneticists, neurologists, developmental specialists. All the testing that we did came back inconclusive. <gasps> Who do we have? Oh, it's Dora. Dora. Nom, 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 nom. We had done sequencing. They call us in, we sit down with the geneticist, a genetic counselor, and they're like, well, there's nothing here that tells us today what's wrong. And that was kind of like a, somebody hit you in the gut. It's, it's frustrating to go doctor after doctor, and nobody can give you a definitive answer. We took a timeout for a couple of years. We just stopped going to see doctors. And at the end of the day, it just became this sense that I'm powerless. I, I can't do anything. Not knowing what uh, Sophia was going through medically was very isolating. You know, family and friends kind of started to um, disappear quietly. Look, please. Good job. Good job. In July of 2016, we decided to go back and start doing testing. I was really looking to figure out once and for all what's going on with our daughter. Good job. So I reached out to Illumina, where we had done the, the initial sequencing, and a lady contacted me back, and she told me there's good news. We have a program called iHope. Finally, there was like some light at the end of the tunnel. The iHope program, the goal is to provide whole genome sequencing diagnostic services for children and families that otherwise would not have access uh, to it. In the past, what we had to do was um, have some idea of the kind of genetic problem that it might be. Whole genome sequencing completely changes uh, that uh, uh, equation. So when Sophia's mom came with her new questions, uh, it was a very opportune time. Awesome, awesome. Are you gonna say thank you? Okay, bye. Thank you. After I got the diagnosis, I remember handing him the report. I remember handing him the report and waiting to see what his response would be. We had been on this journey trying to figure out what is going on with her. And I just wanted answers and I honestly wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting the result um, to come back and say, oh, well, she has this terrible condition and at some point she may slip away from us. And It'll happen subtly, most likely. And then she may not be here with you anymore. Sophia was found to have a de novo mutation in a gene called WDR45. It's a rare neurological and neurodegenerative disorder that is caused by abnormal accumulation of iron in the brain. Sophia's diagnosis is a significant one. We will be able to follow much more closely to see if there is going to be any uh, changes in her neurological status. Coming to a diagnosis can be very empowering because now for the first time it allows them to connect with other families and to connect with researchers who work on developing an understanding and potentially therapies for this disorder. As awful as it was to get the news, I did feel a huge sense of um, gratitude towards Illumina and all of their people for finally giving me answers that finally made everything make sense. Give me that one. 
No, 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 no. That was mine. We finally could breathe a sign of relief in the sense that people are living through what we're living. And I think it's the lifeline that we have been looking for. I feel comfort knowing that there's others out there. Had we not done this genetic testing, I would have never, never been able to reach out to other families and accept the help that they're offering us. I, I do have a new perspective um, on life and, and definitely Sophia's life. It is precious to us and we don't ever, we don't want to miss a moment.